Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, as Commander-in-Chief, President Trump has nearly unlimited power to wage war at his fingertips. And that's just Twitter. <laughs> this weekend, President Trump launched an asymmetrical tweet assault against the mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, Carmen Yulin Cruz. Here's how it started. In response about the administration's relief efforts, on Thursday, acting Secretary of Homeland Security and librarian on the Starship Enterprise, Elaine Duke, <laughs> said this. I am very satisfied. Um, I, I know it's a hard storm to recover from, but the amount of progress that's been made, and, and I really um, would appreciate any support uh, that we get. I know it, it, it is really a good news story in terms of our ability to, to reach people and the limited number of deaths that have taken place in such a devastating hurricane. You know you work for the Trump administration when one of the worst disasters in history seems like a good news story to you. <laughs> I know, I know you're trying to be positive here, ma'am, but the glass is really not half full. Or if it is, that's not water. Don't drink it. <laughs> so, uh, you've heard that. What say you, Mayor Cruz? Damn it, this is not a good news story. This is a people are dying story. This is a life or death story. This is, there's a truckload of stuff that cannot be taken to people's story. This is a story of a devastation that continues to worsen. Okay, that's a leader standing up for the needs of her constituents with a statement that doesn't mention Donald Trump. So I'm happy to say that the president took the high road and let it go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He took it very personally. The mayor of San Juan, who was very complimentary only a few days ago, has now been told by the Democrats that you must be nasty to Trump. Okay, okay. Keep in mind, 95% of the people there remain without power, and only 11% of Puerto Rico has cell service. So, to deliver their message to San Juan's mayor, the Democrats must have used skywriting. <laughs> very creative. Very creative. Free Dorothy! Free! Was it? Released with it? And that first tweet was just the tip of the doucheberg because he sent out 20 tweets about Puerto Rico this weekend. He continued, dat, 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 such poor leadership ability by the mayor of San Juan and others in Puerto Rico who are not able to get their workers to help. They, dat, 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 dat. <laughs> Dot, 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 want everything to be done for them when it should be a community effort. Yes, Trump is blaming the victim. I like islands that weren't hit by a hurricane, okay? <laughs> That's what I like. Yes. <laughs> he, he, he's saying, he's complaining that they want everything done for them. Keep in mind, this is a man who literally has a button on his desk that he pushes and a button brings him a Coke. <laughs> Trump also took this shot at Puerto Rico on Friday. Ultimately, the government of Puerto Rico will have to work with us to determine how this massive rebuilding effort will end up being one of the biggest ever will be funded and organized and what we will do with the tremendous amount of existing debt already on the island. What? Wow. Buddy, your neighbor is drowning, and instead of throwing him a life jacket, you're saying, in a second, first, let's talk about those hedge clippers you borrowed. <laughs> you could also lose a few pounds. <laughs> now, Trump reiterated again on Friday why bringing relief to Puerto Rico is such a hard job. This is an island surrounded by water, big water, ocean water. This... It's true. It's true, I guess. This, this is our president? He sounds like a fourth grader who's not prepared for his book reports. 
I gotta say, Treasure Island is an island <laughs> surrounded by water, big water, ocean water, and obviously Treasure Island also yeah. has treasure. It has, <laughs> it has right. big treasure, shiny treasure. I'm gonna guess the treasure's wet with the water and all. <laughs> and, of course, let's talk about the characters. Long John Silver is there, and he brought the batter-fried cod, and... <laughs> We did the treasure map on the back of the placemat and found the treasure in the back of the cave where we saved Becky from Injun Joe. How much more time do I have? <laughs> Any? We don't. It's a very good book. I like the book. It's good. I didn't finish reading it. Oh, right. I didn't finish reading it. I'm saving some of it for later because it's such a treat. I love reading so much. <laughs> but despite how challenging this is, Trump has the courage to say what no one is thinking. We have done a great job with the almost impossible situation in Puerto Rico outside of the fake news or politically motivated ingrates. But Trump did take a moment to praise someone else for praising him. Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rosello just stated, the administration and the president, every time we've spoken, they've delivered. See, he's doing a great job. It's like if Nero had tweeted 2,000 years ago, Rome burning, devastation, getting a lot of compliments on my fiddling. Hashtag... Mega! Mega! Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. He did all of this tweeting from his golf course. And wow. on wow. Sunday, wow. he did something spontaneous. Uh -huh and unexpected for the hurricane victims. On behalf of all of the people of Texas and all of the people of, if you look today and you see what's happening, how horrible it is, but we have it under really great control, Puerto Rico and the people of Florida who have really suffered over this last short period of time with the hurricanes, I want to just remember them and we're going to dedicate this trophy to all of those people that went through so much that we love a part of our great state really a part of our great nation yeah yeah <laughs> yes 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 that's how i express my gratitude too that's right he's letting them split a golf trophy it's like jesus said for i was hungry and you gave me a golf trophy what the hell i can't eat this what do you I think, am I getting that right? Is that the, I forget the gospel. But I'll tell you what, we here at The Late Show also have an award we want to hand out to Donald Trump. We would like to dedicate this trophy for the world's emptiest gesture. <laughs> Yes. Of course, Donald Trump couldn't be here tonight to accept the award, the ingrate. <laughs> but put that someplace secure, please. But it wasn't just a golf trophy. Trump also had a message for the island. To the people of Puerto Rico, do not believe the hashtag fake news, hashtag PR strong flag emoji. <laughs> yes, fake news. I mean, just take a look at how partisan the news coverage has been down in Puerto Rico. Oh, wait, there is no news down there because they don't have any electricity, you nutlid. Oh. Yeah, nutlid. Oh. Yeah, pop top nutlid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you see, Trump can't function if he hears any criticism, it just shuts him down. And since he is our president, like it or not, to help, I've instructed our in-house news team, Real News Tonight, to do a report on Trump's hurricane response that I think he's gonna like. Welcome to Real News Tonight, I'm Jill Newslady. And I'm Jim Anchorton. We've got breaking news from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a good news story, es bueno. Es 
muy bueno, Jill. In fact, the people of Puerto Rico are so safe and satisfied with President Trump's disaster relief that they aren't sending out any negative tweets, emails, or phone calls. Of course, that could be because they're politically motivated ingrates who want everything done for them. Unlike the good people of the Virgin Islands, who are hard workers. And virgins. And heroic President Trump has done an amazing job, despite the fact that scientists agree Puerto Rico is surrounded by very big water. The biggest water, Jill, full of jellyfish and wet snakes. In fact, experts are now saying that the hurricane would have been an even bigger disaster had President Trump not knocked it off course with his strong, massive hands. Los manos son muy grande, Jim. Grande y caliente. Another smart Trump thing is that today, Trump helped Hurricane Maria victims by airdropping emergency golf trophies all over the island. So shiny. Congratulations, Puerto Rico. You earned it.